On April 28th, a strong EF3 tornado struck the city of Tupelo, Mississippi. Many people have lost their homes and many pets have also been affected. The International Fund for Animal Welfare was contacted and asked for assistance and we have indeed come to help. I was actually reached out to by someone in Mississippi to let me know that the local Humane Society was in trouble, so I called. When Donna and I first started talking, um, she was telling me about all the, the neighborhood damage and the this and the that and the other, and then all of a sudden, she says, but I have to tell you what happened to me. And I was like, well, what happened to you? And she said, we were doing a dog, and her name was Lulu, and Lulu was a breeder dog. She'd been used for breeding most of her life, so she's got some health problems. Lulu was our last surgery of the day. We were doing surgeries, uh, spay neuter surgeries that day, and she is a, about a seven-year-old um, female who'd been used for breeding purposes. So when the vet opened her up, she did have a lot of issues going in, on inside. She did have a lot of bleeding and large uterus with a lot of cysts. So she ended up being an extra long surgery, and the storm decided to come in about halfway through her surgery. and. Um, we could not get to a safe place because we needed to be sure Lulu was safe first. So we were kind of we were kind of stuck on the table with Lulu, but um, she did great and she slept through the entire storm. And we uh, actually went to the storm shelter with Lulu in our arms and an IV bag, holding an IV bag, trying to get her some fluid in, and all was well. They saved that dog. They pulled that dog off the table and ran with that dog, and still managed to save that dog. That. I'm very happy to have met and is doing perfectly well and will end up in an adoptive home because of their bravery. So right now what we're doing is trying to go door to door and make sure that folks have everything they need if they're going to choose to shelter in place. Um, if they're in their home with their animal, we're bringing pet supplies to them. We're letting them know that we're here to help them with veterinary care. If they are not home and we've identified the house that the person has left the house and is coming back inter intermittently through the day to take care of their pet, we have pet food for them and we can provide shelter for their pet so they don't have to keep coming into these dangerous zones. There's wires and glass and it's just not a good place to be coming in and out of if you don't need to. So we come in and we provide experienced shelter workers, animal control officer, expert animal handlers to come in and give these people some respite, some rest. So what we're gonna do in this case is we're going to take out pre-storm dogs and dogs that because people's homes have been completely destroyed had to turn their animals into the shelter. We're gonna work with our adoption partners and use our disaster vehicles to transport those animals out for safe adoption so that the shelter is then at an acceptable level of holding so that they can deal with, for the next month or two, they're gonna be bringing in more animals as people realize that they have nowhere to go and they find that they actually do have to relinquish their animal. What we're trying to do is help them save lives long term because a disaster does not end when the tornado takes off.